Hey, Motor Man here, and I'm at Newport Richie Harley Davidson, and I'm about to take this bike for a ride. Now, I have only ridden one of these like, I don't know, five, six years ago, but people are asking about it, so here it is. This is the Road Glide 3, it's called, because, well, it's got the Road Glide fairing and three wheels. 114 motor. And I could tell you, just pulling it out of the showroom, there is definitely a learning curve. I immediately wanted to counter steer, and it just doesn't work that way. Works like a car. You turn the bars in the direction you want to go, regardless of the speed. And you got to remember that you got this big rear end back here. So if you're getting, trying to get through a tight spot, yeah, you got to be careful. Let's check out the storage. Well, quite a bit of room in there. And I guess you can get luggage racks for these as well, but yeah, you really shouldn't need any more room than that to take a, a trip with two people for a weekend. All right, time to go for a ride. Well, all right, all the controls up front here and the screen and everything is the same as you would find on a road glide. And uh, the rest is, well, just steering it like a car, which is easier said than done if you're, you know, if you're used to sitting on a motorcycle and counter steering is not going to happen. And you got to step on the brake to start it. It is a strange sensation, first taking off on it. Now, even as you get up to speed, it feels a little, it, it feels way different from a motorcycle. Well, it's got plenty of power. I'm sure, I don't know what the uh, the weight of this is, but it's got to be two or three hundred pounds more than uh, a regular road glide. So I'm sure that hurts performance a bit, but this 114 has got so much torque. The extra weight is no big deal. Who's the customer for this type of motorcycle? I would say that would be either a person who's uh, handicapped in some way or maybe feels that they're too old to, uh, to ride a two-wheeled motorcycle or they're having problems. Now they're, they're getting old and they've got a 900-pound motorcycle and it's, it's becoming a handful, but they still want that open-air feeling that you get on a motorcycle and a trike might be perfect for them. Uh, if you're you ride through a lot of inclement weather Rain or icy kind of conditions or places where it might be might get icy Yeah, you're gonna have uh, you'd be much safer on three wheels than two It's funny when you stop I want to <laughs> I want to put my feet down But of course you don't have to but if you switch, uh, if you have a two-wheeler and a three-wheeler, or, or a two-wheeler and a trike, yeah, you might still want to put your feet down because you don't want to get on the two-wheeler and forget that you're you're on two wheels and uh, drop your motorcycle. Now I've just been on this a few minutes, but I could already feel I'm getting used to the way it steers, which again is just like a car except you got a handlebar instead of a steering wheel it's not going to lean so the the front part of a, a two-wheel motorcycle is leaning into the turns 
Well, you're not going to get that on this. The riding position, by the way, very nice, very comfortable, upright, pretty much like a, a, a standard road glide with two wheels. Uh, Power-wise, it's fine. More than adequate. Now, I have seen some uh, motor scooters with three wheels, and yeah, it's probably a different story power-wise on those. Florida where winding roads are few and far between we don't have to worry so much about the funnel leaning into a turn because we don't have many of them there's a few but not many and if you have a problem with your legs or your you know you had a hip replacement whatever the, the the medical problem might be this this is a way to Know, get that wind in your face feeling and when you're cruising straight down the road it doesn't feel any different it's only when you're making turns that there's a definite and a major difference but if you're getting on in years and uh, you don't want to get out of motorcycling completely a track might be the way to go for you Personally, if I got to that stage where for whatever reason I couldn't ride a two-wheeler anymore, I think I would get out of motorcycling and get a convertible sports car. But if you like uh, riding with your friends, and maybe you're in the, the hog chapter and you go out for these big group rides and uh, you don't feel confident any longer on a two-wheel, well, this is, this is the way to go, no, no question about it. As far as price, I'm going to have to look that up because well, I've never paid much attention to the price on trikes. But I'm betting it's not going to be cheap. So that's my feelings on a trike. It's for a certain group of people that either can't ride a two-wheeler anymore or don't want to. For whatever reason, this is a way to go. Maybe extend your riding life into your oh I don't know late 80s well I hope you enjoyed this so many of you have been asking me about trikes not my cup of tea but there definitely is a market for them please subscribe give me a thumbs up and click that notification bell so whenever I come out with a new video you'll get to see it right away